All right, Shalom, Shabbat Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakudash. Also, I want to give double honors unto the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the hopeful elect, the 144,000 men that's going out to the highways and byways, that's making their bodies a living sacrifice week in and week out. And also, I would like to say Shalom to the one third of Israel, which consists of the men, women, and children. That's part of that great multitude that's listening and all true sincerity. Shalom. All right. And um, just lock it. Turn down the air a little bit. All right. But, um, you know, um, tonight, you know, I'm going to speak on the topic of, you know, um, you know, basically, you know, that 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 Yahweh was shy, you know, that that the Lord is going to judge, you know, um, is going to judge this earth. All right, he's going to judge two thirds of the nation of Israel, which consists of you so-called Blacks, Hispanic, and Native Americans. All right, and the Lord is going to destroy. All right, you heathens. All right, and you know, um, you know, the the Lord ain't playing around. All right, and it's obvious that we living in these last days. All right, and you know, the Lord gave us signs. All right, um, Matthew twenty-four chapter. All right, it tells you. Um, it shall be wars, rumors of wars, all right, pestilence, all right, famines, all right, and, and we and we seeing all that play out, all right. You got World War Three brewing, all right. You know you got famine, you got famine um, here coming, all right. You know uh, one out of every one out of five Wendy's, all right, is um, don't have no beef, all right. You know um, Costco's, all right, they rationing they rationing out the meat to people, all right. There's only a certain amount of meat. That you'll have to get per person, all right. You know, so and um, you know all these, all these, um, all the things that's going on throughout the four corners of the earth. All right, it's prophesied. All right, it's prophesied that um, that these things will happen in the last days. All right, so um, you know, and and that's why we make these videos. So you, so you so-called Black Hispanic Native Americans. All right, you know, you can repent. All right, and and return back unto your power. All right, because. We are not supposed to be worshiping any other power besides Yahweh Bashim al Shah. All right, who you people ignorantly call God and Jesus Christ. All right, and you know you have to worship. You have to worship Him as the Scripture says. You got to believe on Yahweh Bashim al Shah as the Scripture I said. All right, and lean not to your own understanding. All right, so um, yeah, I'm gonna hop into this lesson. All right, and Lord willing, this lesson is edifying to the to the elect. All right. So this is Second Ezra chapter fifteen and verse one. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord. All right. So these are not our words that we speak in. All right. These are the words of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai. All right. Thus saith the Lord. All right. Verse two. And cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. All right. The words of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai are faithful and true. All right. And his word shall not go out void. All right. Every um, every everything in these in, in these scriptures, all right. Every line, every sentence, every word is going to come true, all right. Whether you believe it or not. Verse three: Fear not the imagination against thee; let not the incredulity of them trouble thee, that speak against thee. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. All right. So all you people that don't believe in the words of Yahweh about Shemuel all right. You 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 don't believe that um. You know that a World War Three is going to happen. All right, the Lord says that you shall die in your unfaithfulness. All right, because the um, Yahweh um, Shai said, "Where shall I find faith on the earth?" All right, and um, that faith is found. All right, you know that faith is going to be found from the from the elect. All right, because these two thirds of the nation of Israel, all right, they don't have no faith. All right, verse five. Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world. The sword, famine, death, and destruction. All right, and we see that throughout the four corners of the earth. All right, we see um, plagues. All right, coronavirus. All right, you got the um, you got these wasps. Um, what they call it? The, the uh, um, shit. It was like it, you know. But you got these. You got these. Um, you know, you got these wasps. I know one of them called the tiger, the um, the tiger hornet or something. All right, you know, you got the coronavirus. All right, and it says, is what else it said? Uh, the sword, famine, death, 
and destruction. All right, and you're gonna see, um, you're gonna see more death. All right, you're gonna see more destruction. All right, as the as the Lord, um, as the Lord get closer to this earth. All right, more destruction is gonna come. All right, verse six: For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. All right, so this this is why that the Lord is gonna come back. All right, with that with with that vengeance. All right, with destruction because it says wicked wickedness have exceedingly polluted the earth. All right, and you know um, wickedness is at an all time high. All right, you know you got pedophilia, you got um, you got um, transsexuals. All right, you got um, you got men. Men want to be women. Women want to be men. All right, you got um, you know it's all type of wickedness going on out here. All right, and you know the Lord, the Lord is fed up. All right, the Lord is fed up with you people um, loathing the law of Yahweh by Shemel Shai. All right, um, doing whatever the hell that 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 you want to do. All right, and and uh, and all this. Wickedness is going to be um, is going to be put out. All right, the Lord is going to put all this, um, all you wicked people, um, all you people are, are, are going to be destroyed. All right, and in this, in this, um, in in, in um, the the, um, the world to come, all right, is going to be ruled in righteousness. All right, no more, no more GMO foods, no more chemtrails, no more fluoride in the water. All right, you know, um, no more. No more homosexuals. All right. No more kids being um, kidnapped, raped. Man, wickedness is at an all-time high. All right. And, and, and you people, and you people think that, that that there's no repercussions for your actions. All right. Um, all right. So that's the point. All right. And um, so let me go to the book of Matthews. All right. Because the Lord, man. All right. The Lord is finna judge. You know, um, this earth, all right. The Lord is finna judge you two thirds. The Lord is finna judge you heathens, all right. This is Matthew chapter ten and verse thirty-four, all right. Because everybody think, all right, who you ignorantly call God and Jesus Christ is all love. God loves all the time, all right. You know, the this is Matthew ten and thirty-four. Think not that I am come to send peace on the earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword, all right. And what the Lord is gonna do with that sword? All right, the Lord ain't going to um, have a picnic with that sword. All right, the Lord ain't going to um, um, get butter and, and, and butter some bread with that sword. All right, the Lord is going to is going to um, utterly destroy you people, man, with, with this sword. All right, so all you people that said uh, Jesus loves everybody. All right, God doesn't hate sin. He hates the, I mean, God doesn't hate the sinner. He hates the sin. All right. You know, you you you, you people are gonna find out the hard way, all right? That 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 the Lord the Lord is is is, is fucking pissed off, man. All right, you know, uh, wickedness have exceedingly polluted the earth. All right, and, and and there's judgment, all right, for you people's wickedness. All right, and you know, you people in these last days, all right, have to repent. All right, have to have to confess your sins to to the Lord. All right, this is Jeremiah chapter twenty-five, verse thirty-three. And the slain of the Lord, Yahweh Bashemah Shah, shall be at that day from one end of the earth even unto the other end of the earth. All right, you know? So right now, um, I'm in Florida. All right, South Florida. All right, for, so from South Florida to New York to Texas to California. All right, all the way to China. All right, all the way to um, all these other countries. All right, you know, it's going to be dead bodies from. From, from Florida to New York to Texas to California all the way you know to the Middle East man all right it's gonna be this going to be it's going to be mass destruction mass death all right and it says they shall not be lamented neither gathered nor buried they shall be dung upon the earth I mean dung upon the ground all right you know so you know when when all hell break loose all right it ain't gonna be ammo lambs coming to um to pick up these bodies all right, you know the pe people's body is going to be um, laying, um, it's going to be across the across the ground like shit, man. All right, people are going to have to be stepping over your body. All right, you're going to be saying, "Oh, that's that's LeBron James." All right, and people are not going to be lamenting for you. All right, you know people people in that day, man, is going to be worried about 
you know, it's going to be worrying about surviving. All right, worrying about eating. All right, nobody's going to give a damn if you a celebrity. All right, if you um, if you Drake, you know, um, this, in that day, man. All right, you know, pe pe people people are going to uh, be going crazy, man. All right, and the scriptures tell you it should be a time like never before. All right, you know, Daniel's 12 and 1. All right, let's get that real quick because... You know, then this time that we coming into, man. All right, you're gonna have to have, you're gonna have to have your how about Shemal Shah on your side. All right, and if you don't have no power on your side, man. All right, you 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 gonna be destroyed. All right, it's in Daniel chapter twelve and one. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince, with standards for the children of thy people, and there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. And at that time, thy people shall be delivered, every one that shall be found written in the book. All right, so the only people that's going to be delivered, all right, from from, from destruction, all right, is the elect. All right, because um, it, it says, every one that shall be found written in the book, and that's the elect. All right, and it says, it also says, it should be a time like never before. All right, so this time that we coming into, man, all right, it's going to be worse than slavery. All right, worse than the, um, the Great Depression. All right, worse than 2008. All right, you know when 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 um when economy collapsed. All right, it's gonna be worse than the transatlantic slave trade. All right, you know, but you people, what y'all worrying about? All right, um, the economy going back to regular. All right, you worrying about um what what woman you gonna uh, what man's wife you gonna sleep with this this weekend? All right, you worrying about um when your um when your plug gonna re up? You know, you you worrying about shit, man. That that's 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 not beneficial for you. All right, and um, get another precept. All right, so this is Isaiah chapter sixty-six and verse sixteen. For by for by fire and by sword will the Lord plead with all flesh, and the slain of the Lord shall be many. You know it's going it's going to be, you know you um you you're going to see, you're going to see friends, you're going to see family. All right, you might see your own children. All right, um get put to death. All right, but the um, Isaiah thirty three and um six. And I believe it says, uh, I think that's Isaiah 33 and 6. Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time. All right. So if you don't have the wisdom and knowledge and understanding of, of, of the scriptures, all right, if you don't have Yahweh Bashim Al Shah on your side, man, all right, you, you're going to be, you, you're not going to be stable in these times. All right. You're going to be like a chicken with his head cut off. Or when you step in the ant pile, all right, and, and the ants just, just start scattering everywhere. All right. That's how you people are going to be in this day. All right, because all because you refuse to um to return unto your how about Shema Shai, you refuse to seek the Lord. All right, the Lord says, Seek me and ye shall live. All right, blessed is he that readeth. All right, you know, but you people are are, are into folly, man. You 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 worrying about Facebook, all right, you worrying about how much likes you got on, on, on your posts, all right, you know, but all that shit doesn't mean nothing, man. All right, this is Hebrews chapter 10 and 31. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. Right, man? All right, because the Deuteronomy 32 and 39 tells you. Let's get that real quick. Because, you know, the Lord is the one who kills. All right, the Lord is the one who heals. All right, this is Deuteronomy 32 and 39. See now that I even I am he, and there is no God with me. I kill, I make alive. I wound, and I heal. E neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. All right? You know, so it's a fearful thing to fall in the hands of the living power. All right? The Lord can, um, can, the Lord can, you know, the, the Lord can do anything, man. All right? The Lord can send, um, can send um, Satan on you. All right, the Lord can can can, can have you get in, into a, um, a badass car accident. All right, and, and, and you lose your limbs. All right, you paralyzed for the rest of your life. All right, you know the, the the Lord can take you out tomorrow morning. All right, so it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. All right, and 
You know, these heathens at, 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 at one point, all right, they knew that, 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 um, that, that, that the Lord was, was, was a, um, you know, at one point, these other nations, they feared the Lord. All right. They feared the nation of Israel. All right. But, um, you know, but now, man. All right. You know, it's, let's read that again. Hebrews 10 and 31. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. All right. And, you know, that's why that's why we, you know, that's um, that's why the scriptures tell you that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. All right. You know, so you people got to fear the Lord. All right. Because the Lord can take you out. The Lord can can um, the Lord can um, can 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 take out your children. The Lord can take out your wife. The Lord can have you and your um your your wife leave you, man. All right, you know, so it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. All right, and you know, you know that's why the scriptures say make your call in an election sure. All right, because we don't want to fall into the hands of the living power. All right, we we want the Lord to have mercy upon us. All right, you know, um, you know, so, you know, so that's why, you know, man, that that's why, you know, it's important to repent, man. It's important to, um, to, um, to ask the Lord for forgiveness. All right, all the things that you've been doing wicked, wicked. All right, this life and this past life, man. All right, you gotta, you gotta ask the Lord to forgive you. You know, in this life and your past life. All right, and I'm gonna leave off with one more scripture. All right, this is Isaiah chapter. 63 and verse 4 for the day of vengeance is in my heart and the year of my redeem has come all right you know so the lord man you know he he can't wait for this day man all right he can't wait to 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 slay two-thirds of the nation of israel all right you niggas all right the lord can't wait to put 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 hands on you on, on you heathen all right, and, and especially the ones that came back in reincarnation as the ones who crucified the lord all right, y'all you, you, was kicking the Lord, spitting on him. You know, the Lord can't wait to um to put hands on you people, man. All right, it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. All right, your worst fears, all right, the Lord knows your worst fear. All right, the Lord knows that you terrified of snakes. All right, the Lord knows that you, that, that, that you terrified of rats. All right, the Lord can have a fucking gang of rats and a gang of frogs um, just... Um, put you to death man all right like, like, like the lord did pharaoh all right had flies fucking swarm them all right toads all right man the, the the lord man uh the lord can have your ass tortured to death all right take off one limb at a time you know so you no know, you have to get in in, in in you know you have to get in good graces with you how about shimao shot all right in these last days man all right because we living in the last days famine is on its way all right, it's a shortage of meat. All right, um, pestilence. You know, so you, you know you have to repent and 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 um, pray to the Lord. All right, for forgiveness. All right, and you know that's it on this lesson. Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. I'm gonna give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh by Shimei Awashai by Hashem Rakodash. Also, I want to give double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the hopeful elect, the hundred and forty-four thousand men, along with the one-third men, women, and children the elect the house of david lord willing to the next lesson i'm gonna say shalom